After Blessing, Yuan Bingyan still has two costume dramas, and the two male protagonists are ancient costume male gods. The Best Wishes is not only very popular in itself, but also makes the two protagonists Yuan Bingyan and Zhang Yechen even more popular in the play, especially for the heroine Yuan Bingyan. This play has a very important meaning and influence, after all, in the after Liu Li, she has not seen any new works for almost two years. The success of Best Wishes this time can be said to have brought Yuan Bingyan's seemingly bleak acting career back to life. Although she never said how classic the costume goddess Yuan Bingyan is, she feels that many of her works are basically costumes. In addition to this best wish, there are also previous Liu Li, Jian Yi, listening to the snow tower, etc., and Yuan Bingyan's costume style is really beautiful and touching, whether it is fresh or sweet, crazy proud and cute, or cold and beautiful, each has its own charm, and Yuan Bingyan is also full of aura in her performance, so everyone can say that Yuan Bingyan's costumes are more and more liked, and the familiar friends Yuan Bingyan should also know that in this after blessings, Yuan Bingyan still has two costume dramas waiting to meet you, that is Allure and Meet You Again. Both works are adapted from well-known IPs. Among them, Allure is also King Huan is a bit of a traveling through time and space, Fang King Huan, the heroine played by Yuan Bingyan, is very pure and sweet in the setting, but she is a little cowardly and cowardly from the prostitute. Thinking about it, there should be a lot of distressing and sadistic expressions. In the mood for love, I met you again, Hong Ning, the heroine played by Yuan Bingyan, is very domineering and domineering in the setting. Although she is just a little camellia demon, she is frank and frank and dares to love and hate. Whether it is for love or justice and fairness, Hong Ying is an existence who dares to challenge everything. Like Liu Ling, Hong Ying is also a very enthusiastic and flirty girl. Thinking of such a setting makes people look forward to it. The two male protagonists who partner with Yuan Bigayan in the two dramas are also well-known and well-received ancient costume male gods. Shuang Hanlian, who plays the male lead Zhang Yufeng in Allure and Allure, is a veteran male lead who has been popular for many years. Oh my god, Chasing the Wind and Four Famous Catchers, Fu Hongsu and Cheyenne I am Mingai Hideo, and Li Nangxing and Chivalry Dixon are all very classic figures of ancient costume male gods, relying on Zhuang Hanlian to be handsome and fashionable, was one of the four beauties in the world Zhuang Hanlian was once one of the famous four beauties in the world. Although Zhuang Hanlian is a bit older in age, he is still very well maintained. From the works of the past two years, it can be seen that he is still young and handsome, and his acting skills are even worse. You can be picky. The previous partner with Tan Songyan has caused many people to fall into the trap, so this time with Yuan Bigyan's partner combination is also full of expectations. And in Falling Flowers and You Again, it is Liu Zhu Ai who plays the male protagonist Splendid, although Liu Zhu Ai has never been able to make a big hit, and he plays mostly supporting roles, but Liu Zhu Ai's appearance is deeply immersed in it, especially his ancient costume style is even more amazing, like the previous The Legend of the White Snake in Heaven's Han Huang can be said to be in no way inferior to the male director Jilin, and in the previous Liu Li and Eternal Ju Chen, Liu Zhu Ai's ancient costumes, handsome and elegant, or domineering and fierce are all charming. Everyone should pay attention to this. Here it is, in Liu Li before, Liu Zhu Ai and Yuan Bingyan have already partnered once, and there is also a love line, but the two are not official match, so there is no good ending, and this time in Falling Flowers meet you again inside, Liu Zhu Ai and Yuan Bingyan continue their relationship and are a pair of official CPs, which definitely makes people look forward to and optimistic about it, and the settings of these two people in the play have some similarities with the male and female protagonists of I Wish You Well. The female protagonist is carefree and enthusiastic, while the male protagonist is sullen and affectionate. Are you looking forward to Yuan Bingyan's two new costume dramas?